This is my third year uh, managing the camp. Year one, we had 370 coming on the camp just as I took it over. Last year, we had 900, and this year, we've over 1,000. So the growth has been fairly steady now. I was shocked, to be honest, uh, coming in. I didn't know there'd be such numbers, but uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was great to see so many young players uh, wanted to get out and get in the pitch. I love it. I've been coming here for about seven, eight years. Like, I come every year, maybe two two weeks a year. You can't you can't get any better for rugby training, like, so it really is top quality. Yeah, you can't find a better place. The facilities off-field really help get the guys ready so that they're performing for the four and a half hours they're on pitch each day. So the pool for the recovery, the canteen with, or the dining hall with their diet, uh, and then the sleeping arrangements are fantastic, although it is hard to try and get them to realise that they do have to sleep at night so they perform better the next day. The setup here in the King's Hospital is a huge selling point and the kids are coming from across the world, across Europe. I mean, we've got a couple of kids here from Abu Dhabi, a group over here, and you know, so it's not just the Wexfords anymore, it's, it's, it's Belfast, it's all over the country and, and further, further afield every year. Yeah. I'm from Thailand. Okay. I like the like community, how everyone has like a group of friends and stuff. I travelled from Doha and Qatar. The speed of play here in Ireland is a lot faster than it is over in the Middle East, so I think that if, when I go back it will like bring me quite the advantage when I play. The, the girls game um, has gone through the roof over the last couple of years and the demand has just been you know, there right from the start. So we started three years ago and, and this year we've close to 100 girls staying in the camp, so it's, it's really, really popular. Um, I started playing tag in first year and then in TY we started a contact team, so that was when I joined. Um, we learned about like defence techniques and like attacking and different like shapes and stuff. I'd recommend it to anyone. So it's kind of been in developing the cross lens to rugby that our focus has been, you know, on game centred approach. And I think it's the most difficult thing to coach. And its biggest challenge is trying to, you know, develop their understanding of when to pass, etc., or you know, when to make a decision in defence. And so far, it's been really well received. Just the rugby here, the the level of coaching you're getting. Like I've been playing rugby for a good long time now, but every single time I've come here, I'm coming away with something better. Like I'm, I've learned so much. Thanks to Leinster Rugby and obviously friends of Leinster Rugby, we have guest speakers uh, one per week, which is really, really well received. Yeah, I just say get involved because some of the coach here is uh, better than you, you get anywhere else uh, in the country. Certainly, uh, the, just in fairness to the lads, they, they get top quality coaching and uh, stuff you learn here is something that you'll carry through until you're your old man playing. So. Oh,